audience guys out there, you know him, you love him, you can't live without him. David Spade, <laughs> Tommy Boy, <laughs> Joe Dirt. He's got two, not one, but two hilarious new projects. His new movie, Father of the Year, and his audio book. I love this title. A Polaroid guy in a Snapchat world. Yes. <laughs> it's great to have you here Thank with you us, very David. Much. Let's see. start with the audiobook because it's about, you know, it's, it's a comedy book and about how, you know, we, we kind of, as we get older. Yeah, a little more out of it. Yeah. Okay. When did you first realize you were just a little bit out of it? <laughs> I think it's, it's slowly. You know, <laughs> yeah. things that happen where uh, I think one time I was out, I have an old uh, Land Cruiser car and uh, uh, and I was out, and this girl goes on a date. She goes, "Do you have an ox card?" And I go, "A what? A what's going on?" And she goes, "Ox card." And I go, "I'm not getting it." Like I go, "O X, like ox." And she goes, "What's that?" I go, "No, I don't know what you're saying. You don't know what I'm saying." But she goes, "Ox to plug it in." I go, "Oh, oh auxiliary oh, cord." Gotcha. And I go, "Listen, it's a '95 Land Cruiser. I don't even have reverse, all right?" <laughs> I'm not Elon Musk in here, so I, I realize, oh, I, I, I got to go find out what that means. And then I realized, oh, and I used to do Polaroids like growing up, right. and then it turned into this, and now Snapchat. So I was sort of, the whole audiobook is comparing then to now, or mm -hmm. just things that are a little different now, and trying to find some humor in it. And then I did it straight to audio. I only did an audiobook, not a real book. You went right to First audio. time, yeah, I just called Audible and said, can I just do one straight to you? And then I got in there and I, I wrote it, and we and that that way it can come out sooner. So it's out, I think, uh, tomorrow. What is it like to read your own words like that? It's so fun. I mean, is it to be me? No, um, <laughs> no. It's just it's fun to write it because some people have a ghostwriter, mm -hmm. or you know, there's books, uh, uh, you know, about girls that go, I got great abs, and they're like writing seven books about it. And I'm like, I can't even find one book about my whole life, and you've got seven about your abs? <laughs> so uh, I try to dig in there and find funny things, and then reading it is like doing a, a show. It's a little performance, yeah. it's like a comedy album, really, yeah. basically. And I've seen you. I've seen you mm -hmm. and, and, and Adam. And oh, that's right, game. you came yes, out of the show. Yes, that's I mean, right. It's, 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 the stand-up show. Great <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, outside of Hartford. All right, now the movie, Father of the Year. Father of the Year. Your character, Wayne, I don't know if he'd win any awards for Father of the Year. He, he had, it's a funny title. Yeah. Uh, I'm a beat-up New Hampshire dad uh, that has a kid in college, and his uh, best friends, they realize his dad's a scientist. Nat Faxon is a great mm -hmm. actor. And the kids basically say, my dad could beat up your dad as a joke when they're drunk. And... I'm an old school boozer, yeah. and uh, I decided to take it very seriously. So the whole movie, I'm trying to fight his dad, which uh, goes bananas. It's sort of an R-rated, fun, <laughs> old school, those kind of movies. But it's great. A lot of stunts, a lot of crazy stuff. Beautiful setup to this clip. Oh, is this? Okay, let's okay, see. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah. Mr. O'Malley, we were just messing around. We don't really care about you guys fighting. I think you do. And we're gonna do this right now. You got five seconds to swing at me first. No, I five, said I four, don't. Three, two, <gasps> and the gazelle flees. Dad! I tackle him off the roof in that. It gets. Yeah. Uh, there were so many stunts for the guy who's such a baby. Uh huh. I we had probably 30 fights in that movie, and uh, I just keep uh, getting hurt. But my stunt man took a real beating. Mm. <laughs> I gotta say, you look a lot like Joe Dirt. I look a lot like Joe Dirt. In that. Did, did uh, that inspire you at all? The, the, no, the it was. We just started doing the look, and then I had really long hair, and it's it's, a, it's different enough when you see it. And I'm a New Hampshire guy. I had to do a whole dialect coach it was horrifying mm. it was like actual acting which i'm not used to and so um, i usually sort of breeze through it yeah. but it was a little tougher than usual your daddy how would your daughter describe you as a dad <laughs> she's sort of already <laughs> bored with me and then uh it, it didn't take long uh, but she's nine about to be ten took her out to hotel transylvania uh the other day to the premiere uh -huh. she had a blast uh, doesn't let me talk during movies. Every time I try to ask her questions, I don't even follow Hotel Transylvania. I'm like, which one's Blobby? She's like, so she doesn't. Uh, she does. She does like to uh, goof around with me and make it uh, 
Mm. You know, she likes to have fun with me, and, and she, she's the funnier one, and, and acts like I'm boring. Yeah, well, I think yeah but that's that. sort of the way it is. Yeah, that's, that's, it is. Before we go, I, I hope that you have felt the outpouring of love and support. Uh, your dear sister-in-law, uh, Kate Spade. Yeah. I know it's been a very difficult time for your yep. family. You've done a generous thing, David, in making a huge contribution to a mental, mental health advocacy group. How's the family doing? Uh, uh, it, uh, as good as we can. Yeah. It's uh, been very tough, um, obviously, and uh, just it, it, it is very sweet that everyone came out of the woodwork to that she really made an impact. I remember when we used to hang out, and it's funny because every girl I was with or or anyone around, anyone that knew they would see Katie would dress differently. They would oh, really? bring their A game. It was yeah. it was very sweet. They would be like, "Is Katie coming? Is, are Annie and Katie going to be there?" And if they were, it was a whole new wardrobe. And uh, Katie was very sweet. She'd always she knew that they were doing that, and she would mm -hmm. mention something about, say some compliment. And when uh, and uh, when I say, "You don't dress up for me," they go. Yeah, that's her, and you're you. And go, I don't. It sounds like a cut down. Oh, no. uh, but she was such a beautiful, lovely, great spirit that uh, obviously will be missed. I'll start bawling. But uh, I yeah, uh, thank you for saying something. No, 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 and thank you. And I know I, I love the posting that you did, and you said that uh, that she made you laugh out loud. And David, you make us laugh out loud. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you it's for nice your to hear. humor and thank, thank you. you. premieres on Netflix. Who isn't on Netflix these days? Netflix is a good one. I know. Good one to be on. And you got to get a Polaroid guy in a Snapchat world. Who's living that? That's it's right. available tomorrow exclusively on Audible. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.